Meanwhile, Democratic nominee and President Trump each campaigned yesterday in states they're hoping to flip to help them win next month. And both candidates encourage people to get out and vote early. CBS4's Nancy Chen is in Washington with the latest on the race for the White House. With 15 days until November 3rd, more than 28 million ballots have been cast by mail or in person so far. No matter who you are or what you believe, please get out and make sure you vote. President Trump campaigned in Nevada, where early voting started over the weekend. My wait time was less than a minute. It was just, I just walked in and uh, did what I had to do. Nevada hasn't voted Republican since 2004. But Mr. Trump is hoping for a surprise victory. We're going to win the state of Nevada. We're going to win four more years in the White House. At a rally with few mask wearers, the president claimed Democratic challenger Joe Biden wants to shut the country down due to the coronavirus. He'll listen to the scientists. If I listened totally to the scientists, we would right now have a country that would be in a massive depression. There have now been 8 million coronavirus cases in the U.S., according to a tally by Johns Hopkins University. Cases are on the rise in at least 38 states, and hospitalizations are up in at least 30. Hello, North Carolina! Former Vice President Biden spoke to supporters yesterday in North Carolina, a state that voted for him and President Obama in 2008, but went Republican the past two elections. At the rally, Biden criticized the president's COVID response. This guy's gone around the bend if he thinks we turn the corner. Turn the corner. Things are getting worse. The two candidates face off in their final presidential debate this Thursday. Nancy Chen, CBS News, Washington.